Former President Donald Trump is in the midst of several legal battles. A federal special counsel is investigating classified documents found at his Mar-a-Lago estate. And the Manhattan DA is investigating Trump's potential involvement in an alleged hush money payment made to adult film actress Stormy Daniels. ABC's Rita Roy has the update now from New York City. Grand jurors in two different states are currently looking into former President Donald Trump as part of two separate criminal investigations. Sources tell ABC News a grand jury in New York City will reconvene Monday and may hear from another witness in the Manhattan District Attorney's criminal probe into an alleged hush money payment made to porn actress Stormy Daniels ahead of the 2016 election. From there, a decision on possible charges against the former president could come down at any moment. Some Republicans coming to Trump's defense, including top House Republicans, who sent a letter to D.A. Alvin Bragg demanding his office turn over testimony and evidence related to their investigation. Bragg's office now firing back, saying the letter only came after Donald Trump created a false expectation that he would be arrested the next day, and his lawyers reportedly urged you to intervene. Neither fact is a legitimate basis for congressional inquiry. Trump was invited but has refused to testify in that case, but has repeatedly denied the alleged affair with Daniels and any wrongdoing. Meanwhile, in the special counsel's federal investigation into Trump's handling of classified documents found at his Mar-a-Lago home, an appeals court panel unanimously ordered Evan Corcoran, one of Trump's lawyers in the documents case, to provide evidence and testify before that grand jury. Trump, also denying wrongdoing in this case, cited attorney-client privilege to keep Corcoran from taking the stand, but a federal appeals court rejected rejected those efforts. Sources tell ABC an earlier ruling from the former chief judge in the D.C. Circuit Court hearing the case found compelling preliminary evidence Trump knowingly misled his attorneys about returning all the classified documents so they would file a sworn statement to that effect, even though he knew it was false. And back here in New York, police barricades are up with Trump calling on his supporters to protest, but so far very few of them have actually showed up. In New York, Rena Roy for Channel 6 Action News.